Hello everyone, it is Faith and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine and I feel a little beauty guru-ish right now. I'm sitting down, background looks like this, and I'm about to put on some makeup on camera. Definitely something I don't typically do on my vlog channel, but... Rest in peace main channel. I will be linking all the products and everything that I mentioned in this video down in the description below in case you're interested. I think that's all I have to say. Subscribe, follow my social medias, but I mean, everyone says that, so. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get right on into the video. All right, we are here. I don't think I've actually talked about this on my channel that much, but I have hyperpigmentation, especially right here. Um, that's why I don't normally vlog without makeup because it really shows on my vlog camera versus here on my DSLR. My go-to product before I do my makeup, during my makeup, after my makeup, I use my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And it's so refreshing too. Also before I started filming, I washed my face and used this moisturizer. This one is by Neutrogena. It's the Hydro Boost Gel Cream. I love water-based moisturizers. It's just something about it makes my face even more hydrated and it's not as thick either, which I really love. And then this is the beauty sponge. I wish I cleaned this before I started filming. Whoops. It's by Sonia Kashuk. You can get it at Target for literally $9. I also spray this with rose water just to kind of dampen it up because we don't like a dry beauty sponge. Am I right, ladies? So now, Let's get on to the actual makeup. First product is a face product. This is a BB cream. It's by Maybelline. I've been using this since I started wearing makeup. If you don't know what a BB cream is, it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer. It gives some coverage. It has some SPF in it. It brightens your skin up. It's literally just magic in a bottle. But sometimes if I'm breaking out that day or if it's a special occasion, I gravitate towards the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. Not a big fan of matte makeup. Um, I'm more of a dewy girl so that's why I kind of go with this one for an everyday look. Next, I am gonna go in with a concealer. This is also by Maybelline. It is their Fit Me Concealer, I believe. This is a really close dupe to the NARS Creamy Concealer. It's literally like half the price, fourth the price. I just put this under my eyes and then on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and then on some scarring. And then you blend. I just take the makeup off my lips because whenever I put like chapstick on or lipstick, it literally starts crackling. It's the weirdest thing. Since I am an oily mess, I have to set immediately. I use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I feel like everyone uses this powder. It's literally the best I've ever used. So I dip that on my beauty sponge and I go under my eye because my under eyes crease like no other. Back when baking was a big deal, I did it on my whole face, but now I just don't do it as much. I just kind of press the powder into my skin. Because when I bake, for some reason, like it comes off with dry patches and it's the weirdest thing. So I just kind of press the powder into my skin. And then I take a powder brush. By the way, most of my brushes that you'll see that are rose gold, they're from BH Cosmetics. I will link those down below. I've had these brushes forever and they're holding up pretty good. So, and they're pretty inexpensive too. And then I load some powder up on my brush and then I just kind of set everything else. Am I contradicting? Because I said earlier I don't like matte makeup, but also at the same time, I'm powdering the heck out of my face. Not a big fan of matte makeup. So now that we are done with basically the face makeup, I'm gonna go back in with my rose water spray and set that. Do I have makeup on my hair? I'm not surprised. Next up, eyeshadow. This is my go-to palette. It is by Tarte. It is the Tarte Latin Bloom. I use this every single day. There's two shades already gone, but this is literally my favorite palette for my everyday makeup. I'm going to be using Jet Setter and Sweetheart. It is like a chocolate brown and a matte pink. So I'm just going to put this on 
my lid more on the crease and blend it out so it's not as intense. And then the other eye. I should probably zoom you in for the eyeshadow so you know what I'm doing. The weird thing about me is when I apply my eyeshadow, I use this mirror and then I also have a vanity mirror right here. I just kind of like switch off so if you see me looking two different ways, that's what I'm doing. Because this is like up close versus over here where it's like pretty far away. So I'm like, oh, okay, it looks good far away. And then I'm gonna go in with Charmer, which is like a matte white. I just like to put this on on my eyelid just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. And we're gonna put some shimmer on top of that. So recently I've been going with the Urban Decay uh, heat palette I'm using the shade inhale literally the first shade. It's a white shimmery like highlighter color To kind of preserve the shimmer. I'm just dabbing it on And that's the eyeshadow. It's a very Settle shimmer. I don't want full-on glitter on my eyes. Alrighty. I don't know why I just zoomed myself out I'm not done with the eye. Uh, this is by Ciate London basically scratched off So I'll find it online and I'll link it below for you guys. She kind of thick though So I have to be very careful whenever I put this on my eyes because I could go for a really thick eyeliner look And I don't do my eyeliner all the way down. I just kind of do it diagonal with the beginning of my eyebrow um, It just looks better for me Next is lashes. I use this basic cur eyelash curler from e.l.f. Literally like maybe three dollars if not a dollar. Alrighty. For mascara, I use the Too Faced Better Than Mascara. Honestly, I don't think I can even say that word or else it'll be demonetized. If you know makeup, you know what mascara I'm using just by looking at it. And only on my top lashes because throughout the day if I put it on the bottom, it's just gonna kind of make me look like a raccoon. All right, so now we are done with the eyes. Now it's time for the eyebrows. I have been using this product for a couple weeks. This is by uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's their brow gel and I'm obsessed with it, but sometimes I put it darker on certain spots of my brow and it's just a whole mess. And I'm just gonna go with a spoolie and shape them a little bit. And my brows, they're pretty full, but they have a lot of like sparse, bald spots, if you will. I go in with the tiniest bit. And I'm more of a natural brow kind of girl. Like I don't like to full on do my brows. So just kind of adding some color is good for me. I just kind of let that dry for a few seconds before I go in with the spoolie again. I'm obsessed. I love my brows. They look so much darker versus the pencil because in certain pictures, half of my brow won't even look existing because my brow hair is so light. There's a little clump of gel right here. Can you please go away? Thank you. One of the final steps. We're getting there, guys. I'm not very educated in contouring. Um, don't know too much about it. So all I do is I just use bronzer, blush, and highlighter. I don't go in with like the cream contour. This is my go-to bronzer. This smells so good. I just opened it and it smells like sunscreen, but like the good sunscreen, if that makes sense. This is by Tarte. It is the Park Avenue Princess. This is what it looks like. It's so gorgeous. I was watching a video a couple weeks ago and it was kind of like the do's and don'ts of makeup and the don'ts was a shimmery bronzer and guess what this is kind of a shimmery bronzer maybe don't follow my tutorial maybe i'm the don't person i don't know it's not that shimmery honestly like it's the perfect like balance between matte and shimmer because you know how i feel about matte makeup <laughs> not a big fan of matte Makeup. Let's go in here a little bit. Literally the slightest and I literally tap it all off. It's not that much at all. I don't know if I'm even doing this right. I'm sorry, uh, makeup gurus. I heard there was a spot open to replace James Charles and Tati, so I'm here to take it. <laughs> Kidding. And then a little bit on my forehead. A little bit on my chin so it looks like I have a jawline. I actually kind of do have a jawline. Love that for us. And then the littlest bit on the nose. I know this is not how you do it, but it's literally just the slightest bit. I must really love Tarte because this blush is from 
you guessed it. And unfortunately, the cap popped off of it, so. Hey, I'm not complaining. This is my favorite blush ever, cause I, I'm not a blush fanatic. From a girl who has hyperpigmentation already, the redness kind of shows through, so I don't need that much blush. I weirdly put it on my chin. I saw someone do this before, I don't know whom, but I was like, that's a good idea. And then my favorite part of all time is highlighter. From e.l.f., it's, uh, that's Hearts collection with e.l.f. I don't know if they even sell this anymore. I really gotta preserve this if they don't. This is their coffee and cream highlighter. Legit the only highlighter I use. I go in with a little uh, tapered highlight brush from Ipsy. Kind of swirl that all together and then put it right here. Oh, so satisfying. I put it under my brow too and then like I go like this on top of my lip, on the tip of my nose, in this weird part of my nose right here. And then weirdly enough on my chin. For lips, normally I just wear chapstick all day. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna put on some lip gloss because lip gloss is a little, a little special for me. This is by NYX. It's the butter gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. I swear all the Instagram bloggers use this. I only put on the slightest bit. And then last but not least, I gotta set my face with my rose butter spray. It feels so good. Hi, Plane. And that's my makeup routine. Pretty glowy, pretty natural. Normally it takes me like 20 minutes to do my makeup. For this video, it took me like 45. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment below if you want me to make more makeup videos because I feel like a little beauty guru over here. Again, all the products I mentioned will be linked in the description box down below. Follow my Instagram, subscribe to my channel if you want. And that is it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye!